Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered! Today it's going to be Royal and it's going to be Effort on Neo Sylphid, an excellent TVZ matchup for you, left side of Neo Sylphid. It's going to be Royal, ASL Champion. And in the bottom right, it's going to be Effort, one of my favorite Zerg players, and a ZVT here against an ASL Champion. Hmm. I just realized, I don't know if Effort has ever won an ASL. It is hard to do. So, the chances are that he hasn't, but let's go to Liquipedia real quick, shall we? Again, this is an RJB replay. Eh? Eh? Check him out at youtube.com slash at RJB underscore TV. Seriously, this channel... If you've got a replay on here that you love, it's probably an RJB replay. Although, I don't know. Like, the most watched stuff on this channel is the Flash vs. Jadong on Talcross replay from, like, 2009 WCG. That's not an RJB replay. That's just from a WCG replay pack that, I mean, everybody's seen that a billion times. And it's awesome. Anyway. Let's see here. Uh, yeah. He won ASL Season 6. There you go. Good man. He won ASL Season 6 in 2018. Defeating Flash. Is that the one where Flash went random? Was that 2018? I'm getting all of my ASLs confused because I'm old. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm looking. I'm looking to see if I can find Flash. On the Liquipedia page here. Where is... There he is. That's Terran. Flash, Terran, Flash. Terran, Terran. Okay. Yeah, so this is Flash playing Terran. All right, cool. So ASL, uh, ASL six champion effort taking down Flash. That is super impressive. So Royal's gonna have his work cut out for him. That is for sure. Yo. So Steve the SCB coming in. What up, Steve? Got a Steve the SCB shirt at FalconPaladin.store. Mine was delivered. Last week, it is super comfy. It is very, very, very good material. It's not thin. It's nice and thick, but not too thick. And the printing is excellent. So, again, falconpaladin.store for StarCraft merch and Falcon Paladin merch as well. So, one rack expand timing here. And again, a hatch first. We all saw that. So everything is A-OK -okay in this ZVT. Nothing out of the ordinary. And a Marine. Marching across. What up, dude? Oh, and then retreating. Because there's a spawning pool done. Hmm. I think he would have kept marching if this was a three hatch before pool, but three hatch before pool in a ZVT is just. You, uh, you can do that if it's a command center first play, but command center first is very, very rare in this matchup. And rare in all matchups. Let's not kid ourselves. So, Steve the SCV running away. Oh no, getting caught up on a doodad. Don't do that again, Mr. Steve the SCV, or you're gonna die. You've already slipped up once. Slipping up again means you die. But, blah, saved. Saved by the Marines. Good job, Marines. You are a friend to Steve the SCV. Lair on the way. Mutalisks on the way. Second barracks on the way. It's going to be Mutalisks versus an SK Terran build here. Probably. That is my educated guess here. Metabolic boost. Everything A-OK -okay and on time here, which is what you should expect from two elite ASL champions facing off. Yeah. Man, I am so excited to see who comes out on top here. Tell you what. Yep, Spire on the way. And Engineering Bay on the way shortly. Academy finishing up. Range. Going to be researched as soon as that is done. And... Yeah, so we're not trying to rush to plus one here. There will be Engineering Bay here already. But yeah, we're going to be rushing to Stim. And then Range. And we've got Medics. And these Lings are seeing when the Marines are going to march across the map and try to kill him. Not yet. Not yet, says Royal. That's okay. Say the lings. We'll be here when you do. 
Hup, 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 say the Marines. Hup, 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 hup. What's funny is, so initially StarCraft was going to be a Warhammer title, right? That Blizzard was going to do, but then that didn't happen. And so they made StarCraft and kind of stole some stuff from Warhammer, obviously. Like, super obviously. Oh, ooh, Firebat. Love that. Plug in that hole. Gorgeous. Just beautiful. The Marines are moving out. So what's funny is Space Marines do exist in Warhammer 40k, but they're like these super tall, badass, meta-human, like they've got two hearts, and they're stronger and more powerful and have more stamina than the average human, right? So they're incredibly strong, Space Marines. And then in StarCraft, they're just like dudes. They're dudes, and they're in power armor, but they got 40 HP, and they've got a gun. But like... There's nothing crazy special about them. They're a tier one unit, you know? So it's just interesting to me that they stole the concept of a space marine from Warhammer and then didn't make them awesome. I just thought that was an interesting choice of what they did. All right, so mutas are on the way. Surprise. Plus one attack is coming in here from effort as well. Range upgrade, plus one infantry weapons, turrets coming in. We know how this works. We all understand how this works. I'm slowly getting dragged into Warhammer, you guys. I'm trying to avoid it because it is such... Like, the lore is so deep, and I have to commit so much brain power to understanding, like, a fraction of the lore. Trying to understand more of it is just going to be tough, man. Understanding all of it, I think, is nigh impossible. How many people on Earth understand all of the Warhammer 40k lore, huh? Seven? Is it seven people? I don't know. But seriously, I've been reading some books. Read one about a couple Necron protagonists, which is really good. It's called The Divine and the... Infinite, I think is the name of the book. If you want to read it, if you're like, oh, a good book about Necrons, that's interesting. Let me know, and I'll refer it to you. Uh, ask me in a comment, because I read any comment anyone ever makes on the channel. New to harass, getting a lot of work done here, actually. I like it. They don't have plus one yet, but who cares? Turret down, which means you have more access to these SCVs. But the Marines have plugged this hole a little bit. Another turret's going to come up to replace that. And then these dudes, they ready to move in? There's three Sunkens up to stop them. But where's the third base from our Zerg player? These Mutas have chosen to go after SCVs instead of trying to pick off the outer Marines as part of this group. And as a result, Effort does not feel safe enough to go for a third at all. I think our Terran player Royal's like, well, there's a third base. I should go try to kill it. But there's just not... Yeah, usually if you're making this many mutas and you have these upgrades, and you're trying to just get rid of this group in the middle of the map, because if you do that, then you can take a third base and you're safe. But instead... Oh, gosh. Ow. Ow! Okay, lost two mutas for free there. Another one's almost dead, so he's not really any good in combat. What the heck was that? A little bit sloppy. Tons of mutas out, though. Effort. Trying to win this thing through the power of the Mutalisk. It's not easy to do. I don't know that I feel particularly great about it here, but it's effort we're talking about. So who doesn't love effort? I sure do. You probably sure do. Although he beat Flash in an ASL, so Flash fans are probably like, screw that guy, right? Yeah, I don't know. These mutas are a little bit trapped. They're trying to use this high ground, but there's a scan, so they got to bail now. Scan revealed them on the high ground. Everybody's pretty injured, so it's time to back out. Maybe regen some of that HP, although that's a slow process. Without a doubt. And yeah, this Firebat's like, so you're getting a third base or what, man? Is he just patrolling back and forth between these two bases being like, um... You should have a third. I guess he did force everybody back home. There's a ton of Marines hanging out. As we're working on the uh, double science vessel play, a uh, part of the SK Terran. And I've had a bunch of people ask me recently, what the heck is SK Terran? Uh, Google it, right? There's a Liquipedia article expressing SK Terran, what it is, and who came up with it. Basically, there was a player named Solkey back in the day who was a Terran player, right? Little confusing because there's a Solkey now who's a Zerg. But this was a Terran player who's named Solkey, and he came up with the strategy. So that's why it's called SK Terran. And it just involves Marines, Firebats, Science Vessels, Medics about it. They start adding tanks and battle cruisers. It's no longer SK Terran. It's something else, and I don't know what the name of for that is. Anyway, third base is late. Like, third base is almost so late that it's the timing of a third base if it had come up earlier and died and had to be replaced. In fact, I think that's accurate. 
nine, almost ten minutes on your third. He put a lot of eggs into this Muta basket, man. He needs to kill a ton of SCVs, which is why he keeps coming back in here with his cool plus one. Right? As he needs to kill the economy, but it's 40 to 28 workers right now. It's still 40 SCVs for Royal. His macro's been too good. These Lings can't do anything. Where are you, Lings? What upgrades do you have? Zero, zero, Lings. Embarrassing. Any um, carapace is on the way for those dudes. That's nice, I guess. Any lurker aspect? No. There is a Hydralisk, though. Hmm. Could this be the weird kind of growing meta in ZVT where you see Lings, Defilers, and Hydras against SK Terran? Instead of Lurkers. Instead of Mutas. I mean, you open up some Mutas because you kind of need them in this stage of the game to keep the Terran at home or prevent them from moving out, right? But from there, it's Hydras instead of Lurkers. But no, it's Lurkers. Effort's doing some stuff here. I don't know what CSW Parking means, but it's kind of a fun name for Effort. He's got 430 APM right now. No big deal. Royal setting up to try to get a third base here. Is he creating a third base somewhere? Production tab says no. But, you know, maybe. Scans in, sees the four sunken, sees no lurker. Oh, doesn't see the lurkers, but they're there, man. They are ready to go. So where's your radiate? Radiate's done. So it gets tossed down. Oh, there you go. He tried to put the overlord on top of that lurker, but it caught the irradiate anyway. Ah, that sucks. That's not, that's not fun at all. Well, for the Zerg player, it's pretty fun for the Terran player, right? Hive's on the way from the Zerg. We're going to go for fast Adrenal. Fast Defiler Mound. Third base is defended by the same story. Three Lurkers stacked up. Got a Sunken there, too. So just not really willing to commit into those situations until he can irradiate everything. Third base coming up left side from Royal. Not taking this one. Not taking this one just outside of the main, intriguingly enough. But yeah, there's the Adrenal. More Science Vessels. More Medics. More Infantry Weapons Upgrades. Royal knows what he's doing. He's committing to this strategy. Yeah, Defiler Mount, Macro Hatches. Effort knows the power of a Macro Hatch. Every good Zerg player does. Every elite Zerg player totally does. Muta Flock, plus one. No further upgrades. No Carapace, no plus two. And he catches an Irradiate. Ah, oh, no! The Irradiate. Oh, did he pull it off? Did he split it off? He did. The Mutaflog is not happy. There were 11 here, and now we're down to 7. Eh, could have been worse. Not good, though. Consumes on the way. Once the Dark Swarm is over, these lurkers busting it with Marines is going to be nigh impossible. And yeah, it is just a ginormous line of Marines. 138 to 95 total supply, 55 to 43 workers. Zerg player really would prefer to be on about 50, 55 workers at this stage of the game. Simply doesn't and is in trouble because of it. Right? Right. Yeah, this third base of the Terran, Maynard transferring over there. I'm not sure it's technically a Maynard because you're not going into the natural base, but hey. A lot of workers going into that third, no less. Marines are like, is there? Oh, there's not a base to kill, but let's kill a couple Marines with our, our Mutas with our Marines and then irradiate one too. Muta Flock, not happy. That was a lot invested into Mutas, and I just don't know if it was enough. Right? Royal's macro was so good. It's still 56 SCVs. So we probably lost 10, 15 SCVs there. Maybe a couple more, but at 58, at 13 minutes is fine and dandy for Royal. He's not complaining about it. That Restoration? Whoa! Royal's researching Restoration at 14 minutes. Okay. I'm on board. Oh, good snipe on that Defiler. That was a little bit sloppy, but I mean, everybody died. But for a Defiler, that's a fair trade. Absolutely. This Science Vessel count is scary big. It's still Hydra. Oh, Siege Mode's on the way. Okay. Royal's adding tanks to this comp, which I think every Terran player just breathed a sigh of relief and said, okay. Finally, Siege Tanks are being added here. I don't know if SK Terran has the greatest win rate here. But adding tanks seems to be, uh, it's better. It's better than just going SK Terran, I feel like. I don't really have the numbers to back that up. It's way better than going battle cruisers, I can tell you that. Plague is the bane of SK Terran. It's like the greatest thing 
Dark Swarm and Plague are probably tied for number one for what Zerg players can get against this. If you don't have Plague or Dark Swarm, you're going to lose. I don't care what else you have. Adrenalings, plus one Carapace. They're good. They're not great. Plague, but restoration. Hey, restoration. Oh, saved so much HP on most of these science vessels. That was great. Holy crap, Royal using Restoration. What a baller. Ooh, sniping down that one science. Oh, two science. Wait, that was a nice plague there, too. So it's not worth using Restoration on a Marine or a Medic. Oh, <laughs> that plague. Oh, Restoration. Some of them. Not enough energy for all of them. Dude, snipe that science vessel. Okay, turned away. Got it. Another sick plague there. Uh-oh. This is not looking good for Royal. It is kind of Hydra Defiler Ling. A little bit. Still got lurkers running around, but the Hydras are participating in this pretty effectively. Fourth base up. High ground. This isn't technically high ground, but I always feel like it is. But this base is up for Royal, too. His dude... I know I've said Royals macro about five times already in 16 minutes, but seriously, Royals macro. I mean, it can't be bad if he's going to win an ASL, but it's just so good. His timings are excellent. He knows to keep the pressure on the Zerg player and expand. Attack and expand, attack and expand. I'm absolutely in love with this restoration play here. We do not see this hardly at all ever. Okay, I had to kill his own Hydra there. Defensive Matrix up. Uh, the Firebat needs to be in the front if he's Defensive Matrix. There he is. Then he loses the D-Matrix almost immediately and runs out of there. Smart. Brave, brave Sir Robin. Sir Robin ran away. Bravely ran away, away. Bravely ran away. Hmm. Still, 65 to 45 workers is not looking good for the Zerg player. I like that he has this base. I really do. But uh, vehicle weapons is getting researched. And these things have been added to the comp officially now. So now, bam. These Hydras, not going to do as well. Oh, nice snipe on that. Science Vessel, Dark Swarm... Ah, oh, the Marines die so hard to Hydra attacks when they're plagued. I know that really seems a very obvious thing, but it's true. So this is... Busting in here. Hydras, Lings. Lings an answer to the tanks with a certainty. It is one, two upgrades on the Hydras. The three, two upgrades on the Marines are pretty great, though. D-Matrix on the tanks trying to keep him alive, but Adrenalings. And the Lurkers versus Siege Tank. Not great for that Siege Tank, but he survives nevertheless. It's 166 to 100 supply. That last engagement was massive for Royal. He took some hits, yes, but he has been swinging back hard. Uh, sure, hello, Mutalisks. Why are you here? To die, apparently. Oh. Did he just Restoration on a Medic? Not a bad idea. Okay, playing on the science vessels. Restoration. Ding, 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 ding. Such a happy sound. Dude, I... Ugh. It's probably saying too much if I say that Restoration is winning the game right now for Royal because he's doing everything else really well. He's up 177 to 91 supply. His worker count is murdering. Berserk, that science vessel went to its death for reasons I don't understand. Uh, this one, too, thinking about dying. Yeah. Okay, there's your plague. You can't get in there if they haven't been plagued already, Hydras. You'll get obliterated. Okay, but plague marines against lurkers is not ideal for them either. Siege tank. Loving the tank positioning here. It's so good from Royal. And abandoning the fourth base. Oh, boy. Royal really making effort look weak in this game. This is amazing. Another sick plague, dude. Plagues have been good. The Dark Swarms have been good. But the Restorations help and keep the Science Vessels alive. That's key to this whole thing. Insane. Oh, Radiate on the, the Hydras. Trying to split them off a little bit there. But 
That means you gotta pull this. This is so much Terran cruising in here, man. So much. He irradiates a lurker egg to try and kill it. Tough ask. But this fourth base is dead. Uh, trying to get a new fourth base down to the south here is effort. And Royal, yeah, he's got a fifth base landed. So, yep, are you going to beat an ASL champion when you have one fewer base, two fewer bases than he does? Probably not. Okay, Lurker Dark Swarm, as usual. The answer to all of life's problems over here is Zerg Flare. And by that, I mean one Lurker who gets fire batted to death. Ah, uh, one Lurker not as powerful as, you know, six. Siege tanks. Another beautiful dark swarm here, but the fire bats are kicking butt and taking names. Okay, he exploded, but he took some names before he exploded. Royal not doing the best of jobs of getting out of dark swarms with his marines. Okay, this is some sick dark swarm, but it's still an over 2 to 1 ratio of overall supply here in favor of the Terran player. Reinforcements, I mean, he's just... He knows he's not getting anything done by attacking stuff inside Dark Swarm, but he does not care right now. Nice play. GG! Oh, it's the annoyed Korean eyes. And Effort taps out, and Royal is our winner. Woo! In 21 minutes. Action packed. Absolutely killer, killer. Action packed. ZVT, that was amazing. Fantastic replay from RJB. Woof. Well done. Well done. Uh, the restoration. Again, I think it's too simplistic for me to say the restoration won him the game. But I don't know how many of these science vessels are alive because restoration was tossed on them as soon as they got plagued. Three? Four, maybe? And the siege tanks being added was like number two reason this was one because the siege tanks don't care about your dark storm or your plague as much as your marines and medics do. And yeah, I think this is a response to kind of this whole Hydra, Hydra Ling Defiler play that we're seeing. It was Lurkers too today. But yeah, siege tanks are just like, you're making Hydras. Why? Why would you make Hydras against us, say the siege tanks? You know that never works. It never works anywhere else. Why would you do it here? And Effort's like, I don't know. I'm sorry. I won't do it again, but fantastic macro, fantastic production here. I mean, never lost a base, never come close to losing a base. The muta harassment was good, but definitely not enough. It delayed a lot of, uh, delayed the hive tech is what it did. And caused some major problems here uh, for effort that he was not able to overcome. So effort, man. Taps out, but Royal, more recent ASL champion Royal gets that win. All right, that was amazing. Like, I don't want to epic tag that thing, but maybe the use of restoration, I should. Tell you what, in the comments, let me know. You think this is epic? If so, I'll tag it epic. 147,000 points, 126,000 points in favor of Royal, outproducing the Terran player, but only by about 40 units in 20 minutes. Not great. Uh, killed way more than that, too. Royal did, end of the day. 76 buildings raised. A lot of those were missile turrets. And this is your problem. If it's 42,000 to 42,000 resources spent and a ZBT and the Terran is an ASL champion, good luck. Good luck with that. <laughs> it's not happening for you. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was brutal. So nicely done. I mean, okay. Effort outspent the Terran by 800 resources, which is something. Nope, that's the wrong thing. 40, I keep looking at the wrong thing. It's 42.7, 42.9. Actually, Royal outspent the Zerg by 200 resources. Okay. Yep, that's never going to be a win. Uh, the restoration. That was it. That was the whole thing. Restoration. Do, do more of this, Terran players. It's good. <laughs> Uh, all right, cool. So that is going to be it for me today. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch. All at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. And you take care of yourself.